Hello friends, welcome to Best Tutor. Today we are going to learn about an important structure known as nerve cell or neuron. So today we are going to learn about structure of a neuron. So neuron is also known as nerve cell which is a structural and functional unit of nervous system. So neuron is all or nerve cell is also known as basic structure and function unit of nervous system. So what do we mean by structure and function unit of nervous system? The cell, nerve cell is going to form the structure for the nervous system and also it possesses certain functions which are carried by the nervous system. Hence it is considered to be the structural and function unit of nervous system. Now if you examine the neuron, it consists of three main parts known as cell body or cyton. This is the first part. Then second part we have an elongated part known as exon. Then we have some cytoplasmic projections known as dendrites. So now these three parts are very essential for any neuron to carry out nerve impulses through the nervous system. So let us see the structure of neuron today. So the diagram is very very important regarding the examination point of view. Right children, if you see this part of the neuron is known as cell body or cyton. So we all know the cell is the basic unit of life, even neuron is nothing but a nerve cell. So here nerve cell has the actual body known as cell body. So here this cell has a nucleus inside it. And you know the importance of nucleus. Nucleus is the one which is going to regulate all the activities in presence inside the cell. So the nucleus is there and we have cytoplasm inside the cell body. So this is the cytoplasm. Now the cell body cytoplasm will show some kind of projections which we call them as dendrons and these dendrons will further branch like finger like projections known as dendrites. These are known as dendrites. Now these dendrites are the one which are going to receive the stimulus impulse and that impulse is going to be carried throughout the neuron structure. Then one part of the cytoplasmic projection is going to elongate like a tube like structure. We call this part as exon. It looks something like an electrical cable you have. So this cytoplasmic projection which extends like elongated tube or cable like structure known as exon. So the whatever the impulse which is carried by the dendrites will be carried through this exon. And these exons will have endings we know call them as exon endings. It, the exon ends up with some branching like structures known as exon endings. Now if we examine the exon structure, exon structure is covered by a membrane known as myelin sheath. So the entire length of the exon is covered by insulating material known as myelin sheath. And this myelin sheath is in turn covered by another protective membrane known as neurolemma. So this is known as neuro 
lemma. So, axon, the entire length of the axon is protected by a sheath known as protective sheath called myelin sheath. This myelin sheath, if you observe, it leaves certain gaps throughout the length of the axon. The, the gaps which we observe, is these gaps are known as node of Ranvier. So, students if you examine the axon is protected by a myelin sheath which is known as insulating material. Now, what is the purpose of this myelin sheath? This myelin sheath is going to conduct the impulse without any disturbances. Right? If you if you observe if there is no myelin sheath, no protective layer, so the impulse is being carried through the length of the axon. Now, there is no any protective sheath or insulating material. So, what happens? The impulse can be scattered in different directions then the purpose of sending the impulse may get deviated. So, in order to have proper impulse carry, the, what the myelin sheath is going to protect the impulse to be carried through the length of the axon without any disturbances or deviation. Then this myelin sheath, I told you we have gaps, these are known as node of Ranvier. Now, the function of node of Ranvier which are non-insulated, which does not have myelin sheath, they help in speed uh, carriage of the electrical impulse. So, they make the speedy movement of the electrical impulse. Then, this myelin sheath is in turn covered by another protective insulating material known as neurolemma. The function of neurolemma is just to protect the myelin sheath as well as the axon. So, this is about the structure of the cell body cyton and the axon. If you observe the end, I have shown you the axon endings. So, these are also some finger like projections you can observe. And at the end of these axon endings, we have the expanded bulb like structures and these bulb like structures are the ones which are going to secrete some kind of chemical substances known as neurotransmitters. So, at this part at the endings of the axons, we have some chemical substances known as neurotransmitters. So, the name itself indicates that these are the ones which are going to transmit something from one neuron to the another. That is the why the name is given as neurotransmitters. Now, what is that substance which is secreted by these axon endings? That substance is nothing but acetylcholine. So, acetylcholine is a neurotransmitter which is produced by the axon endings and this neurotransmitter is the one which is going to transfer the impulse carried from one neuron to the another neuron. So, we will examine how it happens. Now, is it clear about the structure of the neuron? So, neuron is basically divided into two main parts. One is known as cyton or cell body and the other part elongated part of the cell body itself known as axon. Now, the cell body consists of the nucleus and cytoplasm which is known as cyton and cyton sometimes it is also named as pericaryon children. Now, what is meaning of pericaryon students? Peri means surrounding, carion means nucleus. Something which is surrounding the nucleus we call it as the pericaryon or cell body. Now, if you observe the cell body, it has some projections we call them as dendrites. Dendrites are the one which are going to receive the impulse and carry throughout the neuron structure. And one of the cytoplasmic projection is elongated extended like a tube like structure known as axon. And axon is covered by two protective sheets. One which is adjacent which is next to the axon is known as myelin sheet. It is the one which is acting like an insulating material, not allowing the impulse to be deviated or distracted. The next myelin sheath is in turn covered by, covered by neurolemma, another protective sheath. And if you examine the axon endings, we have expanded bulb like structures which are which contain neurotransmitters. Now, the neurotransmitters are, not, transmitters are nothing but chemical substances which help in transmitting the impulse from one neuron to another. Let us examine how it happens now. Let us imagine this is one neuron students. So, this is the axon endings. And 
right. So, this is the cyton part with the dendrites. Now, so all the neurons in our body they will be placed in a chain formation. So, we have billions of neurons throughout our body and all the neurons are connected in a form of a chain formation. And if you observe the exon endings of one neuron are placed very closely to the cell body of the another neuron. So, they are never in contact you know, that we have to keep in mind they are never in contact they are not very uh, binded or something they are always placed closely to one another. So, the exon endings of one neuron are closely placed with the dendrites of the another neuron. So, as we know now we uh, learned that these exon endings have the neurotransmitters. Now, these neurotransmitters are producing the chemical substance like acetylcholine. Now, this neurotransmitters helps in the transmission of the nerve impulse from one neuron to another. So, that is how the dendrites of the another neuron will receive the impulse and they carry throughout their cell body and exon. Again, the, it reaches the exon endings, again it transmitted through the help of neurotransmitter to another neuron. So, that is how the nerve impulse generated in our body is carried through the neurons in a form of chain like motion. So, this is how the carrying of nerve impulse takes place and the actual gap you observe observe where the exon endings are closely placed with that of the dendrites of the another neuron we call that gap as synapse or synaptic cleft. So, cleft is nothing but the gap present between the exon endings of one neuron with the dendrites of the another neuron. So, this portion synapse is the place where the exon endings of one neuron is closely placed with the dendrites of the another neuron and this point or the junction is the one which is allowing the transmission of the nerve impulse. So, this is about the structure of neuron and how the synapse is helping the transmission of nerve impulse from one neuron to another neuron. Thank you. Thank you.